Welcome back to this special edition of ESPN FC 50 as we continue our countdown of the top women's football players in the world. Next on our list, number three, Vivian Miedema, the Dutch striker for Arsenal, 24 years old. And just over the last two seasons, she has been the Women's Super League's leading scorer in each. Kathleen, whether it's for club or country, if you need a goal, harder to pick a better option than Vivian Miedema. Absolutely. And we all know Arsenal have struggled this season. You know, it's definitely not been their best outing. And still, she's the league's top scorer. I mean, she's just incredible. And I think it's been really interesting this season to watch her on the field because you can see how visibly frustrated she is with the opportunities that she's getting and her ability to actually convert them. But even still, she's still winning (laughs) in all the goal races. And I think as well, it's been really interesting to watch that kind of fight between her and Ellen White for that all-time WSL goal-scoring record because it's kind of the old gun who's been there for years, who's done amazing things. And then you have Minima coming in and smashing the record after just a few seasons. So uh, she's incredible. And it's such a pity that Arsenal aren't in the Champions League this season because I do think we're really missing out on seeing her against some of the top players in Europe. And how about the success at international level uh, as well? 2017 European Championship and, of course, the final at the 2019 World Cup. Strikers continue to get the love in our top three as we move to number two, Sam Kerr of Chelsea. She's with Chelsea now, Julie, but this is a player that we saw for the better part of five or six years dominate the National Women's Soccer League. And that's saying something because the NWSL is a tough league to dominate, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ah, and it makes me miss her over in the United States. But And it took her a little bit to get going over at Chelsea. It took her a year. It's... Maybe not surprising that her rise has corresponded to Kathleen's point earlier with Fran Kirby playing so well alongside her uh, at Chelsea. But it's been fun to see her deal with that adversity of, okay, I've got to also bring my game to England, Women's Super League, how are we going to do here? And we've seen now that she's back. She's playing well, she's confident, she looks happy. Um, And she's not only knocking in goals, she's assisting as well. And that's what makes Sam Kerr, I think, in my opinion, so dangerous is she can do both. She can play make, she can finish, she gets in behind defenses, as we know. Uh, And so I think of that top three, it could go any way. You could even put Sam Kerr at number one, but she is back in form for sure. You could put Sam Kerr at number one, but that's not what our list of experts has decided, Julie. The number one women's football player in the world, according to ESPN FC 50, is none other than the American midfielder Sam Mewis, of course, plays now for Manchester City. And Julie, what I find so interesting about Sam Mewis is her ascent is relatively recent. Like if we did this list even two years ago, I'm wondering if she's even in the top 50. And here she is number one. Yeah, that's a great point. And the thing I actually have been thinking about is, okay, what puts her at number one? What has been the difference in these last two years? Because we've seen her be a box-to-box midfielder. We've seen her on both sides of the ball. We've seen her dominance in the air, her physicality with her size. The difference in my mind and what puts her as number one is now she is finishing goals and finishing consistently and doing it on a team that's chock full of talent with Man City, uh, playing, getting time, dominating at that level beyond just the U.S. women's national team. Um, And so to see her at club and country lifting both teams up in the fashion she has uh, and the dominance in which she's displaying uh, as of late, is fun to watch because we have seen this evolution of Sam Mewis as a player. Kathleen, interesting to hear Julie mention Sam Mewis' move to Manchester City there. You've seen it up close and personal. Just what kind of impact has she had on City? There was such a massive deal made about these U.S. women's national team players coming over to England and I think by far she was probably maybe not even the one that people were massively excited for at the time but has easily become the one that has slotted in the quickest and adapted the quickest to the play which has been so interesting to watch from this side and she had that month off with injury and she came straight back in league game scored two goals went on to score in the Champions League the following week like there's just literally no stopping her at the moment and I think it's like Julie was saying it's her style of play 
all of that has just fitted in so well with Man City. And I think she got them at a really good time as well. Like they had Gareth Taylor just coming in as a new manager. There was a lot of new signings. So it was very much a team in transition at the start of the season. And she's been very much a leader in that, in bringing everyone together, getting the team to gel. I mean, the way she passes the ball, there's nothing that she can't do in that side, which I think is so important when you're trying to distinguish yourself in a team, like Julie said, that is so chock-a-block with big names and stars. Of course, the big question is, what do you actually get for being number one on this top 50 list? Well, among the many prizes, a brief chat with Kathleen. Here's a listen. Congratulations. Um, you've beaten some of the top players in the world to be voted the best women's footballer in ESPN's inaugural rank. How are you feeling about getting this award? Yeah, well, thank you so much. I mean, it's a huge honor, obviously. Um, I know there were a lot of really incredible players um, on the list. And so I think I am just kind of um, obviously honored and, and really grateful, um, especially to my teammates who, of course, are the whole reason why this is even possible. What is it do you think that attracts players to this league and makes people want to tune in every week to see the likes of yourself, Sam Kerr, Vivian Miedema? Like, I could keep listing names for the rest of this interview if I wanted, probably. The the WSL has been incredible. It's um, been really competitive this year, and uh, I think it's only growing, as is women's soccer everywhere, which is um, such a good sign and something I'm really excited about. I think that the opportunity to play in Champions League is really exciting and definitely attractive to a lot of um, good players. Um, and I think that, yeah, we... Man City has been incredible. The whole league has been incredible. And I think people want to watch um, women's soccer. I think it's a, such a great sign for the sport and for the game globally. Um, I'm also really excited about the upcoming end of Basel season. I think, like you said, eyes are on women's soccer. And um, with the Olympics coming up, I think it's like a really great opportunity to continue to get more fans and get our current fans even more invested. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.